Get away from me. Easy now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Stay calm. Come with me. Don't, don't touch me. Drake. Marlo's waiting. No, 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 no. It will all be over soon. Sally's not here, Drake. You're on your own now. Sally knows. Trust us. Follow me. No, I won't go. Don't resist. You're with us. Just listen to me. You know what we want. Don't let, don't let, don't let. I won't let them hurt you. Where is it? Give them to us. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Good. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Please. Ah, I don't know. Welcome back. I don't recommend making a scene. You're not exactly here legally, remember? Greatness from small beginnings. <laughs> Beneath that cocky exterior, you're still the same scared, filthy little runaway, aren't you? Skip the mind games. You don't know me. In fact, I suspect I know you better than anyone, Mr. Drake. Of course, that's not your real name, is it? But we won't dwell on that. Mother commits suicide. Father surrenders son to the state at the age of five. Entrusted to the St. Francis Boys' Home. <laughs> it's also Dickensian. Oh. Don't worry. She's of no interest to us. Unless, of course, we need to apply a little pressure. What do you want from me? Well, as much as it pains me to admit it, I need your help to find Victor Sullivan. Right. We already know he has the coordinates to find Iran. How do you know that? <laughs> you told us, Nathan. It seems your loyalty isn't as firm as you'd like to think it is. What about his? What? Wait. What are you trying to pull? Nothing. It's just that... Well, we've had you in our clutches for quite some time now. And he hasn't exactly mounted a rescue. He didn't rescue you back in Cartagena, either. He just saw something he could exploit. I know what you're trying to do. Trust me. 
Victor is only ever in it for Victor. It's a cold, hard fact. I discovered it 20 years ago. I'm surprised it's taken you this long to figure it out. You're wasting your time, lady. Fair enough. But ask yourself, when he scooped you off the streets of Columbia 20 years ago, did he save you from that life? Or did he just doom you to this one? Ah, excellent. Well, we've located Sullivan on the other side of the city. I'm sorry, Nathan. It seems you've been removed from the equation. <laughs> asshole. Great. 
There he is. I think you lost me, didn't you? Come on, Talbot, this is getting old. يا صباح الفلافل والحمص والببغ النوم. Remember me? Ramses. You should thank me, my friend. Uh, right. Thanks. No, really. The English lady bade me to get rid of you. But me, I'm a nice guy. I saved your life. Right now, I am the only friend you got. Now you figure I owe you something. Is that it? Smart guy. I like that. You are way ahead of me. It is really a simple question. Aram of the pillars. <sighs> of course. Where is it? <sighs> I don't know, buddy. Bullshit. Look, even if I did know, my life wouldn't be worth very much once I told you, now would it? You insult me. You're a pirate. And a good businessman. Give me some respect. Let's try this again. Where is Aram, Nathan? Look, you can torture me all you want. Okay. But I can't tell you what I don't know. Maybe so. We'll see if your friend is more cooperative. What? Who? Your friend, Victor Sullivan. I don't want to do this. At his age, it may be too much for him. Wait. No, no, no. You have given me no choice. Perhaps your friend will be more grateful for his life. Wait. You leave Sully alone! Bye, Nathan. You don't touch him! <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <laughs> don't want to tell us what we want to know, huh? I'm talking to you! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Where did you come from? Stay down. 